Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano and Frank, the Patriot Bald Eagle. Tonight, we are drinking 100% Colombian Great Value Coffee from Walmart. Really good coffee. Really good. If you have to hit pause on this video to get your coffee together, have coffee with us, or whatever beverage you deem necessary, go ahead and do that now, as this will be a lengthy discussion. All right, guys, let's get into it here. We have... Prices, prices, prices that are going up again. Going up again. I'm in and out of the stores, as most of you know, and I see things. I see prices just continually rise. It seems like every time I go to the store, I can name at least 10 items that have gone up in price. Now, things change from here and there. Sometimes we see little price drops just to see them go right back up. Like take frozen potato products, for example. We have... Uh, what is it? The Orida fries, right? Where they were dropped a little bit in price at Kroger there for a little while and then just went right back up to $5.99. So it's hard to even really, you know, we always talk about uh, what are the regular prices because regular prices are what we're going to pay when there's no sale, right? And if these are things that you need, not just food, but, you know, medicines and stuff like that. That's another thing. We've been getting a lot of comments from you guys all around the country and some people in Canada that over-the-counter medicines are virtually getting unaffordable. Now, we've seen them go up around here in Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, in small increments, but still going up. Whether it goes up 20 cents this week or next week, it's still going up in price. We've seen a lot of different medicines, like bigger packs, actually go up a dollar on some things. Like, we've seen multi-packs where they've gone up a dollar. We see big, like, things of acetaminophen, ibuprofen, that have gone up a dollar. Um, and, and, you know... We've seen price increases at Walmart, too, and that's kind of what I want to talk about tonight. We've seen price increases on Equate brand, right? We saw shortages there for a while. Now we're starting to see it come back, and what happens when it goes away? It comes back at a higher price. We are seeing tons and tons of things go up at Walmart, and let me explain. We have, today I visited Walmart. Okay, I'm just going to, that video will be out here tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you're subscribed, uh, hit the like button so it helps spread our video out all around the world, guys. It really does help uh, the YouTube algorithm help spread our videos out all over the country and around the world. Guys, I'll tell you what. So as a lot of you know, me and Jessica went to walmart in indiana walmart in indiana uh, a couple weeks ago and i noticed a lot of price increases all of which have gone up at our walmart as well i know a lot of people have been asking that question if i'd been to walmart yet i visited it today yes bread has gone up a lot of other things have gone up i'm not going to completely spoil the video for tomorrow morning but i will say like i always say stock up on the sales as you see them because we are seeing more and more price increases on everything. Everything. A uh, couple things had come down at Walmart, which I do go over in the video. Maybe things that they're either having trouble selling or they have too much of. But for the most part, everything seems to be going up. Produce, for whatever reason, and meat products at Walmart are skyrocketing, as they are at every other store. But Walmart is one that we can compare all around the country. So I always... Um, am excited in a way to showcase a lot of things at Walmart because I know a lot of us shop at Walmart, but at the same time, it's frustrating sometimes going in and have to, having to deliver the bad news. One thing I will talk about for just a minute here, and we've gotten a couple comments on this over the last couple days, is that egg prices are really starting to go up. Now, we had seen them come down a little bit. I'm curious to see what Kroger's going to look like when I go there here in a couple days. Walmart eggs went from $1.90, okay, $1.90 for 12-count eggs to $3.12, $3.12. That is not good. That is not good. That really took me off guard. I noticed that the 60-count was still under $9. Don't know if they had changed the sticker on that yet, but since the 12-count went up, I would assume that the 60 count is really more than that. And like I said, they just haven't changed the sticker. Take a sip of coffee here. Yeah, that great value coffee is good. Funny thing, the ponds, or I mean, the, the canister of coffee actually came down four cents 
on the canister of 100% Colombian. Uh, it was 996, now 992. So I notice these little things, you know. I don't want to just talk about all the, but that's four cents. We're not seeing things go up four cents. We're seeing things go up 20, 50, a dollar, right? I mean, this is this is ridiculous, and it just keeps happening. Um, and this is why we have to be all the more prepared, guys. We have to make sure that we are stocking up on these things. Some of the stuff, uh, I saw spices not wiped out at Walmart today, but it was very low, very low. Now, you know, we've been hearing and reading that spices are going to be hard to come by here in the near future. Um, don't know if that is for everyone, but it does look like it's affecting Walmart because even at the one I visited in Indiana, their spices were very low also. So we just have to... We have to stay up on these things. That is why we are here to make sure that we are keeping up on all of these things for you to make sure that one, you don't waste your gas money. Gas went up again here, another 10 cents overnight. I think it's 309, 309 now. It won't be long before it's back up to 319, uh, which is what it was a little, uh, a few weeks ago. And then we saw it drop 30 cents, went right back up 30 cents. So I don't know. Uh, it's something we have to pay attention to though. All these different prices. Thank you all for participating in the channel here and letting us know what your prices are at some of your other stores. I can only visit so many, um, but we have a lot of viewers that are commenting like what state they're in, what product they're finding that they're seeing in the channel that they're finding uh, maybe for a better price or maybe a more expensive price. It doesn't really matter as long as you put it here in the comments so that maybe your neighbor or someone else who is watching the channel here that lives in... Louisiana or Oklahoma or California, you know, that that they can see what that price is. We have a lot of viewers that view all of the different comments, and uh, thank you all for participating in the channel like that. Uh, it can't say enough about that. It's pretty awesome. Uh, we have grown. We, we're growing every day, and the more we grow, the more we're able to help as many people as possible. Now, um, some people have been asking in the comments, are me and Jessica going to start doing some different uh, some different entertainment videos. Yes, we are. We're still going to continue to do our store videos and coffee rants and stuff like that. But on some days, like when we're traveling and stuff, we are going to start adding a little more entertainment uh, of some of the things we do. Maybe some different food reviews across the country when we travel and stuff. Maybe some different stores, you know, just look at things, have some fun. You know, if we go to any theme parks or something like that, we're going to do more uh, like reviews on those things when we're gone. Obviously, when we're home, strict, strictly business uh, for the most part. But, <laughs> you know, we definitely want to add more entertainment. But getting asked that question a lot, I know there are a lot of people on the channel that have followed us since the beginning where we did these videos pretty much every day. And we do plan on doing a lot of those here in the future. They're fun, a little bit of a breakaway from all of the craziness and grocery prices and all this other stuff. So we look forward to doing that here in the very near future. A um, couple things that some people have been talking about uh, is, well, somebody was mentioning eggs the other day. This was the first time I seen a significant price increase since uh, about a month ago. I'll tell you what, it did take me off guard. It threw me off guard. It really did. I was like, is this right? Like, I'm looking down, and there's a couple different prices, right? And they had 18-count eggs for $3.56. So for only a little bit more, it kind of made me wonder, did these go up and then we're supposed to go up again? Not really too sure. Saw a lot of bare shelves at Walmart today, too, which is usually an indication of it's going away and coming back at a higher price. I actually talk about some of this stuff in the video, um, but yeah, it's, it's, you know, you would think that uh, as long as I've been doing this, I would not get sticker shock. That is incorrect. I get sticker shock anytime I see something like that. Um, yeah, so anyway, we've got things going on. we got things going on. We need to make sure that we are stocking up. My original plan for today's video was to go into Walmart and look at a lot of the different canned goods that people have been asking about to stock up on, to throw in your pantry. Uh, you know, if you're adding things to your different stockpile, things like that. Walmart is still a pretty good option for a lot of these things. Um, but we're not getting a lot of great prices out of it. We're, we're getting the true minimum price, but what they really mean by that is true regular price minimum. That's what I'm going to start calling it. True minimum price, regular, true regular price minimum. 
Okay, because yes, it'll be a few pennies cheaper than like Kroger or Publix or some of these other really expensive grocery stores, but they don't have the sales. They don't have the four for five, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they'll have a rollback offer here and there, and there were a couple good ones at Walmart today, but it wasn't like what we expect from a lot of other stores. Those of you who are new to the channel, I always say at Kroger, you know, and this does apply to a lot of Kroger owned stores. Um, it's the most expensive store to shop at where you can save the most money, which means if you're buying up the sales and only the sales as we go along here, you're going to ultimately save the most money. Now, when you look at some of the regular prices at Kroger, you're going to be like, damn, what are you talking about? I, it's, it's exactly, I know it could sound confusing, I guess, and I get this question a lot, but if you can stock up on the things as you go along, get the best deals, get the best prices, and this does apply to digital coupons. Okay, and I know a lot of people on the channel don't like digital coupons. You know, I've, I, we have no choice. If you want to save money, we have to accept that we're going to have to use these digital coupons or you're going to just spend a lot more money. And if that is you, that's fine. You know, if you got money like that, that's cool. None of my, but no judgment here. No judgment here. I'm just saying that if you want to save the ultimate amount of money at pretty much any store you go to, then you have to take part in some of the digital programs that they have, especially at Kroger. Now, there's ways you can get around that if you're shopping like some of their special. And see, Kroger knows this. Kroger knows that a lot of people don't like digital coupons. So they have these other deals that they probably work out with different manufacturers and things where they have like the buy five, uh, buy five, get a dollar off, buy five or more, save a dollar each deal. And they have different deals that go on like this. Right, so you can get a better deal, arguably not as good as the digital coupons, but you are getting a better deal. And what I do like about the buy five or more program or the buy six or more program or buy three or more, whichever one they are rolling out for the week, right? Sometimes they haven't, you know, sometimes they don't do it at all. And those are the tough weeks where we're looking for just things that are on digital coupons. But what I do like about those buy five or more deals is that it's no limits. No limits. Say you like stocking up on Campbell's soup. Well, if you can get to Kroger before tonight, you know, before Kroger closes after this video here, they still have $1.49 a can Campbell's soups. Buy five or more. No limits. You can stock up. You can fill an entire closet with Campbell's soup if you wish. Like I said, no judgment here. Buy whatever you want. And, and really, all we're doing on here, guys, all I'm doing is, is showing you things throwing in a little bit of advice of things that we do, right? Not saying you have to do any of this. People leave in the comments, well, I don't have to buy this. I don't have to buy that. Of course you don't. Of course you don't. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you enjoy the entertainment, right? And, and that's really what it is. We're putting this information out here just so that if you, you, you see it, you see it. Uh, we have people that, that literally write their grocery, uh, grocery list out, to what we show at the stores. I mean, that's pretty awesome. I love that really like makes me feel good. Jessica loves that too. Um, it's just amazing that just by going and showing you things and maybe throwing in a little bit of an explanation of how much this is going to really cost if you miss this deal, I think more and more people are catching on and, and more and more people are literally writing their grocery list out to the things we do. I think that is so awesome. However, you know, we always have a few on here that are always saying, well, what do you know? What is this? And I understand you could just be on here just wanting to, just wanting to chat. Whatever the reason, you don't have to. You don't have to. I mean, you're here, you're here on the channel for a reason. Whether that is you're curious to see what's going on in the stores. Um, I won't even mention the title of Walmart for tomorrow, but you could probably imagine with a lot of my titles are usually a lot the same. There's a reason for that. I know people see a lot of titles in our coffee rants and they say, well, this is a repeat video. No, it's not. No, it's not. Sometimes I keep the titles the same when it is very relevant to subjects that we have talked about in the past so that you see them again, so that you see that this is another event. This is an event, but it's different because obviously it's in the future and it, and it ties into things that we have talked about in the past, right? I mean, and from a a uh, algorithm perspective, I'm thinking that way too. 
I want to make sure that you guys are seeing these videos. I want to make sure that this is popping up on your desktop or on your phone, you know, so that you know that, that here it is, right? You may say, well, this is another, this is the same video. No, it's not. No, it's not. And you can tell that by the dates. I've been getting a lot of comments on that lately. They're not the same videos. They're similar because it's in line. And someday, maybe if I go and I group these videos, we're going to have this as a historical document, right? We're documenting history as we go along here. Prices have never been this high. Inflation, although cooling in most things, which doesn't count for energy or food, let's remember that, but it's causing everything else to go up, which in turn is ultimately causing food to go up. Because you're talking transportation, you're talking about fixing, you know what I'm saying? Like everything ties in. It's all one big circle. It all, it all connects. Everything connects. So if inflation is just going up on everything around us except for food, they don't want to calculate the numbers in this because if they did calculate the numbers, it would look pretty scary. You would think to yourself, we are in major trouble. And, and we could be. We could be. The way we see these prices go up, guys, I'm telling you, you know, I see people, people talk to me like I can barely afford to eat. People send me emails. I see people in the stores who know us from the channel that, you know, they don't know what to do, that they're, they're watching our channel to, to make sure that they find the great, the good deals in a specific area before they even spend the gas or take the bus. I tell you, I saw this lady who knew me from the channel the other day. Hello. It was nice meeting you. Uh, she watches every day. She literally takes the bus. She has one of those cart things that she brings. She she puts it in her um, grocery cart. And then when she's done, she can only fill up so much. But she was pointing out the different things that she had gotten, that she had saw on the channel, that it was going to be a little heavier for her to get on the bus. I, I offered to help her. I was like, I'll, I'll, you know, you want me to wait for you? I can help you get on the bus. And she knew the bus driver, same bus driver every day. And he helps her get on the bus. And I think that's amazing. There's still good people out here, guys. And um, I just thought that that was an amazing uh, thing. A lot of the stuff, like she was getting those Campbell's soups, a lot of them. Because she probably doesn't have much, you know, probably doesn't have much money. And and to get those for $1.50 a can, yeah, it may not be you know, a lot of people say, well, don't eat that Campbell's soup. It's not good for you. Well, you know, it looks awful good when you don't have a lot of money. Or, you know, if you're like we always say, if you're living day to day or week to week, you know, I mean, it's something that you can have to put in your stomach to get you full. And yes, and that's why we watch everything. It's good to watch everything you eat. But at the same time, you know, I'm no, I don't judge anybody. You eat whatever you want. If you want to eat a bunch of Reese cups for dinner, that's your own business. Although I wouldn't recommend putting it in the comments because you're going to get a lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't do that. Like, I mean, you know, people don't even get a joke anymore. You know, <laughs> I do. I laugh. Even if you're being, even if you're being spiteful by it, I still laugh. I think it's funny. Uh, I, you know, <coughs> excuse me. I, I do what I can to get as much information when we go to the stores as possible. Walmart's video, I'm not even done editing it yet, but I, it's going to be a little bit of a long one. But it's one that I recommend that you do watch because we go over a lot of different stuff. Yes, we go over a lot of the different price increases, but I try to go through different things and show you what prices are still better than Kroger, what prices are better than Meyer, what's comparable to Aldi. Aldi's winning, guys. Aldi is winning, especially when it comes to produce. Now, I know some meat quality and stuff like that's different everywhere you go. Different Aldi, you know. And that's the same to be said with produce and meats all around the country here. All around the world with Aldi, really. Because it's going to be a little different. Meat and produce, are, they're locally buying meat and produce from whichever Aldi you're at. Since we're in Ohio here, they're getting from someone here in Ohio. Or someone close to where, one, they're not paying a lot for shipping, for one. Right? I mean, that's how they keep the prices so low. And there's many reasons why they keep the prices low. Aldi's been going up in price too, though. Like, their butter now is three sixty nine. dollars Now, we're seeing dairy and stuff like that go up. Knock on wood, Walmart cheese is still $2.22 for an 8-ounce pack. Three ninety eight dollars for one pound, seven forty eight dollars for two pounds. Get it. Go get it now before it goes up. I think cheese is next. But you know what's funny? I said this a few months ago. I said like six months ago, I was like, start buying your cheese. 
and it hasn't gone up. And, and part of the reason why I think it hasn't is because I think that they know that people aren't going to buy it. If, if they think that they can't sell it for this, you know, and, and maybe that's what it's going to take. Maybe that's what it's going to take is, is a lot of these, like the eggs. I'm not going to pay $3 and 12 cents for a carton of eggs. No way. No way. Jessica about lost it when I said that. I said, remember when we saw eggs for $1.90 at uh, Walmart in Indiana? Now they're three dollars and twelve cents. Three dollars and twelve cents. That's crazy. I mean, I know we have other events going on that are causing egg prices to go up, and I'm not going to go into all that. But my goodness, I mean, that's ridiculous. Where do you see the prices on some of the produce? Oh, I don't want to spoil the entire video here, but uh, right in the first couple minutes of the video tomorrow, you're going to be in shock. I was. It took me a few different takes to get my mind right and how to actually talk. That's a lot of things off camera you guys may not realize is I'm taking several takes. I'm doing a lot like in one area to, to sometimes to get myself together because I'm as in much shock as you're going to be. And, and two, I don't want to sound hateful, which can be that can really come out sometimes. What the... <laughs> <laughs> these oranges are ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, but uh, the struggle is real when it comes to a YouTuber, especially doing what I do. But you know what? I, like I said, I wanted to make sure, I want to make sure that it is straightforward, informative, and doesn't get people too upset. Now it's going to, it'll upset you anyway. But the thing is, is that it's not, I, you know, it's why I try to keep a nice, even keel, calm tone throughout the entire video. Because I understand that these are already overly stressful times when it comes to food. There was a guy, when I came out Walmart today, there was a guy and he's, he's sitting in this chair thing. And he said, you know, he's literally like, um, you know, he looked like he hasn't had a meal in a while. And, you know, he said, he said, hey, man, you know, he said, hey, I, I really need, I, I need something to eat. And of course, I offered to, I offered to go in and get him a sandwich. He didn't want it. So I was like, well, and he started, he started tearing up. He started tearing up and, and I was like, and I, you know, I've got a, I got a strong heart, I guess. I, I gave him a few dollars and I said, well, man, you know, if you just, cause he, he said that he was kind of embarrassed and all this stuff. And I, I was like, you know, here's, here's a couple dollars. Here's a few dollars. You know, if when you feel comfortable going there and get you a little bite to eat or something. And you know, I don't know. I don't know. And, and people will say what they want about that. But you know what? I felt like a connection. I was like, this guy really is hungry. And he's very emotional about it, whether he's an actor or not. You know, it ain't going to hurt me to give him a few dollars, hoping that he'll eventually go in there and get himself something to eat. But guys, people are, and my point is, is people are struggling. People are struggling. Make sure you're paying attention to your neighbors, your family, your friends. Call up people that you haven't talked to in a while. See how they're doing. See how they're doing. Check on them. Make sure that they're able to get by because we all need to work together in all this. That's why we're doing this. But, you know, if, if, if I didn't, if, if this was, I, I would be out doing like different, just walking around filming different uh, awesome locations, right? Theme parks, restaurants, these kind of things. I mean, if, if there wasn't as bad of an issue, if I thought that this was getting better, then I probably wouldn't sit here. I, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you about how much you need to pay attention to the different prices. Because as to where I enjoy chatting with everyone, it's more exciting being outside and not talking or thinking about any of this stuff. But we have to. We have to. And that's the motivation that I get from you guys every day to keep doing this every day. is from all of your heartfelt comments on how we're helping, right? I mean, and, you know, it's it, we all are. We're all helping each other. And I think that is what's important. And that is the, uh, that is the, the heart of this channel is everybody helping each other and, and doing what they can, you know, even if it's just leaving a comment on, on what's going on in your town, in your city and state, you know, what, what is missing here? What is high priced here? I'm not saying you got to go into like a huge paragraph, but you wouldn't believe how much you might be helping somebody by just posting like, something, well, these bread prices, don't buy them here. They're too, you know, just anything, anything. 
And, and we appreciate all the heartfelt comments that we get from each and every one of you. And like I said, that's my motivation to go out, go out there and do this every day for you guys and, um, stick to it, stick to it because we're, we're in the thick of it here, guys. And we're, I, I, th I think the thing that really gets me is when we start seeing these crazy price increases at Walmart, what do you think's coming? Right. We're seeing it at Walmart. That means we're going to start seeing it again at all the other stores. We're going to see price increases on things at Kroger, Meyer. Meyer, I don't talk about it much because I'll be honest with you, there's not much to really talk about with Meyer anymore. Even the sales aren't that great of sales. I can't, I do not like that buy five, say five deal. I know some of you were saying that. I am just not a fan. I miss their old uh, buy 10, get one free deal, the 11th item free, where you get 10 of their $1 items that are on that sale. Yeah, you got to buy multiples of 10, but it's a great deal. Now they have the seven, you know, sometimes I'll roll out that seven for seven deal or more. So you get all the items, you know, for a dollar, which is still a good deal. But I don't know. I just feel like Meyer needs to really step up their game in some ways. There have been a couple people that have said that the Imparks has really helped you uh, save some money save some money. So make sure you leave those comments down below. Any good experiences you've had with the Imperks digital coupons, let our viewers know down here so that they know uh, what they're doing and how they do it. I agree. It's kind of a, you know, you got to put your phone number in. They don't do the cards where you can just scan it. You got to put your phone number in and you need a password. It's a lot of, lot to have to do to really get that sale. I mean, I guess it's like that everywhere. It just seems like Myers version is complicated, you know, but maybe it'll get easier over the years. But anyway, guys, just want, just want you guys to be aware. Just want to sit down, chat with you guys for a little while, let you know what I've seen today and for the past couple days. Uh, I didn't go over this in Walmart's video. They did have like some Super Bowl stands, you know, like some different, uh, cookies and stuff, but the prices were ridiculous. And I was done. I was like, I'm not showing anything else that is way overpriced. I was like, I'm out of here. Uh, hopefully, we'll be going to Kroger tomorrow to do their sales of the week. And we're going to look for different, uh, the big game snacks and all that stuff. I know Kroger, I hope so, uh, will be loaded down with a lot of that stuff. I will be visiting Kroger Marketplace. So it's a much bigger Kroger, a lot more employees, hopefully a lot more different deals going on. Um, and I'm excited to do that. Um, this is like one of my favorite weeks to shop for, for, for you guys, right? Because I know everybody's planning for the game. You want your snacks. You want this stuff. We're going to look at all these things. And even if you don't, we're going to find some good deals on chips, which Meyer had. Meyer had that, but their best deal was $9 on a case of pop. They didn't have any of the 12 packs on sale. You know, Kroger had theirs. I don't know if they're going to do that digital coupon again, but their 12 packs were $3.99 on a digital coupon. You can buy up to five. Okay. So I don't know if that sale's still going on. We're going to find out tomorrow. It should be a lot of fun. I'm going to make it fun. I'm not going to look around for all the different price increases and stuff like that at Kroger. I'm going to focus, remain focused on the task at hand, and that is to help find some good deals. I'm going to only focus on that tomorrow. If I come across something, I come across something, you know, it's just, it's in my blood now that I have to mention it, you know, but I will try to keep that short and sweet. It was a train wreck at Walmart today. Uh, lots and lots and lots of price increases with very few decreases, but I do point those out as well. Like the coffee that dropped four cents. I, I think that's silly. like four cents, four cents, maybe a renewed contract, but it's great value. So it's their own, it's their own product. I, I don't know. I don't know. We see this at Aldi a lot where uh, canned goods will drop a penny, right? Or two pennies. It'll be 78 cents a can and then drop down to 76 cents a can. You know, I mean, that, that's cool. You can save a couple pennies here and there. If you're if you're really stocking up on them, if you're really loading down, then it could be, could be well worth it to you. But I know I have rambled and ranted on enough uh, for today, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, we have like 1,400 videos on here. So if you're bored, if you're new on the channel, you can just keep watching to your heart's content. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.